Welcome to Be Bold Branding. Hello, everybody. What is a brand identifier? and why is it critical to your personal branding success? Well, you're gonna learn all about it today as we cover the three reasons you need a brand identifier. I'm Tanya Eberhardt, founder of Brandface, where we help business stars differentiate themselves, and we do that through personal branding. Hi folks, I'm Michael Carr. I'm the COO of Brandface. I was a client before I became a partner and we are the only comprehensive personal brand building system across the globe. Thank you for joining us today. That's some good information for you. Okay, so I find the best way to express things sometimes is to do so in a story or just kind of painting a picture for you guys. So let's imagine this scenario, which has happened to me a lot. You're walking past a bakery window, right? One of the most wonderful windows to ever walk past. For sure. And you see this incredible cake in the window, shaped like a castle, complete with a moat, surrounded by knights in armor. Okay, well, I get a little carried away. But that does get your attention, right? You don't yet know why this cake is in the window or who it was baked for, right? But it looks different so different from the typical wedding cakes and birthday cakes alongside of it and you just had to stop and look scenario number one or how about this scenario you're buying a tv and you go and you're specifically looking for a smart tv and you get to the store and a big you know how they do the big giant shelf tvs going everywhere it's mania how do you pick the right tv all the boxes in the store shelf pretty much look the same photo of a tv the measurements right uh the including components but one box has the word smart tv or one tv has smart tv written across it in huge letters it says connect to any device something that is important to you that gets you past the first step right when the official how many what the tvs or the whole wall of what do i choose here i came in for a 55 minute smart tv and i've got 200 to choose from how do you make that next step what jumps out at you to make one of them stand out and find you right it's one of the first things that you've got to get past to explore some more meaning it's among your top choices already just because of a few words smart tv so those two stories right we share them because we they show just how important a first impression is and how mm -hmm. like in the case of the smart tv just a few words can position you instantly to be one of the top choices and in the case of the cake it's how much image matters see you don't know the full story behind either one of those products right? right and you won't until you like get the cake you don't know what kind of cake is it you know why was it served who is it for what's inside you know uh the box of the tvs you don't know everything it can do until you open it up and start reading the manual which nobody ever does um you don't know the full story but you're drawn to them because Number one, they're unique or they might fit the needs that you're seeking, right? And that, honestly, guys, is what a brand identifier does. Yeah, big topic, brand identifier, especially these days. You're hearing so, uh, everywhere you look, you're, the people are talking about branding. Branding, 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 branding. They're on that personal build, brand wagon. Yeah, personal that brand wagon. Build your brand, <laughs> build your brand. We'll show you how to build your brand. Uh, I doubt it. But, they, you know, you can get some information about what a brand is. Technically, a brand identifier is a tagline or a slogan that sets the tone and direction for your personal brand, Okay. We, uh, Tanya obviously wrote the book on this and, and we're letting, we're passing that information on to you as we have our clients in 41 states and four provinces of Canada and three other countries, right? Think about it. You can't possibly fit an entire contents of a book on the cover, right? And we all heard it. Our grandparents told us, don't judge a book by cover, right? So you but put, we do. but we do as humans, <laughs> we, do. we automatically do. But so put the attention getting headlines or the topic or in the case we're, we're explaining, the identifier on the cover because it's the first thing that people see. How does it jump out from a wall of books, the sea of sameness that all of us in business deal with, every right. one of our competitors, right? If you're in a real estate business, everybody knows a realtor. If they're not already a realtor themselves, how are you going to stand out? But it's the same in every genre of entrepreneurial business, period. How are you going to stand out? Yep. 
So, so a brand identifier is, you know, one of the ways that helps you stand out from the very beginning. And it should, your brand identifier should state who you are or what you do or stand for. And, um, and here are the three reasons that you really need one, drilling down into the technical aspects of it. Number one, as Michael said, it sets the tone and direction for your brand. It puts up those guardrails, if you will, for your brand and marketing. Mm -hmm. How many agents we've been on the phone with in the past that say, I don't, I'm, there's so much out there, like so many marketing platforms. I don't know what to say, where to advertise, no, how to say to it. No, they have no idea. And it's understandable. That's understandable. But a lot of that would be cleared up right away with defining that direction. And that brand identifier is kind of like that starting gate, right? Yes. It's a starting gate. It opens up and you stay in your lane and you win the race. That's how it works. <laughs> so yep. number two, it sets you apart from the very beginning, the cover of that book, the shape or creativity of the cake, the printed words on the box of the uh, on the box of the TV, that headline, if you will, that says, "Hey, here's just the snap, just the sneak peek of what's inside." A sneak peek, and then number three, it begins to it begins keyword to attract and narrow down who you want to do business with. It should help your ideal customer to look at that and. That should pique their attention. It should say they should say, "Okay, that has me interested. I'm at least going to consider that in my top choices." So you know, a brand identifier is not you're not going to put it out there and some and everybody says, "Oh, that's exactly who I want to do business with." Right? It kicks open the door though. It kicks open the door where they want to learn more because the image, the words, they say something that appeals to that customer that you're looking to reach. And so from the word go, as they say, you know, at least you're in the running. At least you're in the running. So, so those are the three things. Sets the tone and direction for your brand, sets you apart from the very beginning, and begins to attract and narrow down who you want to do business with. It is such a great indicator. It's like the front door on a house, right? You want that to be inviting. You want it to be welcoming Always. and warm and approachable. You want all of those things, right? And, and so think of that as like the entryway, the doorway, the gateway to the rest of the story, as Paul Harvey says. And, 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 and now, the, the, the rest, rest of the story. story. <laughs> hey, I, here's another story to put something in perspective for you. We love this story, right? This comes from uh, Simon, Sinek. Uh, Simon Sinek's book. Simon Sinek, Pure Genius, right? And uh, his one of his books, uh, Start With the Why, is very important and a great book, by the way, if you want to read that, it's, it's fantastic. It's a perfect example of what a brand identifier is all about. And it's it, what it's all about, right? So follow us on this thought process. He talks about it Amer back in the day, American auto execs went to visit a Japanese auto assembly, right? Assembly line. So like if you're older than, uh, well, let's see here. Careful now. Yeah, I know, exactly. Like, <laughs> like, okay, so Toyotas were imported at sometime around the early 70s, early 1970s, okay? So like if you're in your late 40s or younger, everybody knows what a Toyota is, right? And Toyota, how fantastic Toyotas were, and they built their reputation on uh, their longevity and how well they were built and everything. So these auto execs are at a Japanese uh, auto assembly line. And one of the last things that happens in an American assembly line for automobiles like GM, Ford, uh, um, Dodge, Chrysler, with those American built like that, one of the last things are the doors are put on, okay? And the American executives, they were walking through the Japanese uh, operation and how they were doing that. And in America at the time, one person aligned the doors with a rubber mallet and then secured them into place to be sure that they aligned perfect, right? So they go through the whole, um, uh, through the whole tour and one of the American execs asked the Japanese uh, exec, he says, well, when are the doors put on and, and how do you make sure you don't have anybody in this space with a rubber mallet aligning these doors and setting them? How do you know that the doors are going to fit perfect? And a Japanese exec just smiled and said, we do that in the design. Let ding. that song in, sink in just a ding, minute. Ding. We do that in the <laughs> yeah. design. In other words, in the planning phase, 
Define right. yourself from the beginning. How does that work with your brand identifier? Define yourself properly in the b very beginning, and a brand identifier gives you that initial alignment to your customer that you were seeking, not only to attract them, but also for you to attract them, right? It works both ways. So your brand identifier takes the place of that rubber mallet, making sure those <laughs> doors are aligned. If you plan right when you start, then you're going to come right out of the gate with your brand and be able to start attracting new customers and business. Yep, that's true. One other visual for you guys, okay? Do you ever see V for Vendetta and where they line up all Only the that, that pattern of dominoes, that intricate pattern of dominoes, and all he has to do is go tip and it brrr, cascades yep, all tip. that, <laughs> all those dominoes in perfect pattern, right? And that's kind of what your brand identifier does. It gives you the path on which to operate, the path on which to follow, the path to follow with your brand. And so I think we've given you enough visuals and stories and things today to really kind of hopefully put that in perspective to let you know how important that is. Your brand identifier is not your brand. Mm -hmm. It is the identifier that kind of dictates here's where my brand goes here's how i'm going to follow here's what i want to be known for and as we said just to cap this off your brand identifier should state who you are or what you do or stand for mm -hmm. and guys now you know the top three reasons that you need a brand identifier yep all right so if you want to discuss your brand identifier with us uh, with our team just head to discussyourbrand.com and apply for a free 30-minute session and if it's a fit we can get you started the same day and it will just be a matter of days before your brand identifier is dictating your direction that's right and if you like what you've heard today folks please like it love it share it hit the subscribe button we need it. We'd love it uh, if you'd follow us and, uh, and give us also some ideas of the content that you would want. You'll be the first one to know when the new videos come out. Uh, we're doing them every week. We've got a huge library of content to help you build your business. It is stuff that we put into practice every day for our own lives. I, I met Tanya seven years ago, and she has helped take Michael Carr and Associates uh, to a, a several new levels, uh, in, and we're wanting to pass that information on to you. We appreciate your time today. And folks, we do this because we want and believe in prosperity, right? In the pursuit of prosperity. But it's not about money, not prosperity like just money. We're talking about the 360 of an abundant life, of a very content life, which we all deserve. And we know at Brand Face that prosperity favors the bold. So we say be bold, folks, especially with your brand. And thank you, Miss Tanya. Thank you, Michael, and thank you all for spending time with us. We appreciate you so much. Uh, hopefully, you guys will have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you here next time. Subscribe. There you go. Don't forget.